heard him over there talking about how just how much he's matured. It's not like just one day you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, I'm a, I'm mature. How how do you how would you describe how that process has kind of gone for you? Uh, I would just say time. Uh, you know, just being being available to my teammates and being around them, uh, just earning that trust and being around the coaches, just time and uh, just trials and tribulations. You know, it's a learning curve. I think. As time goes on, everybody matures. So it's just some people mature faster than others. Some guys come in mature. Some guys take a longer time. So just time. What was the biggest lesson you took away from last season? From last season, uh, just being consistent uh, and just just one just being consistent and being a great teammate, uh, being a family. You know, I wasn't here, I wasn't here, so uh, I missed a lot. But just just being able to be around the team, the team and uh, being around my teammates. That was a lot. Was there ever a point in time where you thought maybe you wouldn't return here? Uh, no, I always, always stay focused. I always, always was com confident that I was going to be able to come back. Always had confidence that the coaches would allow me to come back. I'm thankful that the coaches allowed me to come back. Thankful that my teammates took me back in. Uh, I had to earn their trust, obviously, but I always stay confident that I was going to be able to return. How did you earn that trust? Uh, like I said before, just time and you know, just just paying my dues, coming in every day, working hard. You know, not not uh, having no distractions, no more distractions, uh, putting things behind me and just being a great teammate, being a great leader, and just being a brother to my teammates and being a good player for the coaches. I, we asked Coach Yates, like, what you might have gotten out of the experience of being away from the team, and he said that you miss football, you know, and that you love football and you miss football. What would you say? Was that the biggest thing? That maybe you gained an appreciation for that, or was it something else? Uh. Oh, definitely. I missed and love. I love football. I definitely missed it. But I think that brotherhood, that's the thing I missed the most. Just being a, just being away for that long from guys that I came in with, guys that I built bond, bonds with. I just miss all those guys. Sure. When, yeah, when the school decided that they were going to suspend you, how did you react to that? Uh, I was upset, upset with myself, but I knew I knew that I put I put that on myself. So I had to I had to stay level headed, had to stay focused. I always knew that it was going to be a bigger purpose, and here we are today. <laughs> right. So physically, you missed out on spring ball, you missed out on summer workouts, and then you end up getting hurt like early. I don't know if it was in training camp or early in the season. Do you feel like you were kind of like trying to play catch up the uh, whole for season last year? <laughs> for sure. Uh, just just not being able to work out with Coach B. You know, Coach B has a great strength strength and conditioning staff. So just being away from those guys and then trying to come back in. You know, I'm a guy who wants to go full speed right away. So. Just trying to go full speed right away, that kind of took a toll. But also, just being in the strength, strength and conditioning this offseason, that that helped a lot. Coach Yates said maybe you weren't healthy the whole the whole year. What would you say? Last year, yeah, for sure. I, I don't think anyone can play a whole whole season healthy, but I definitely was banged up a lot last year. Yeah, just played through it. Okay. So now that you have had a chance to go through a spring ball for the first time and summer conditioning uh, and summer workouts as well, what are your expectations for yourself for for this year? Uh, just staying healthy. I want to just continue to be a great leader to my teammates, being a brother, being somebody that they can count on on and off the field, uh, being a, a a good a good players coach for the coaches, uh, somebody they can rely on, and just continue to build and get better. At this point, what does accountability mean to you? Uh, just being responsible for your own actions, uh, taking responsibility, and, and and owning up to everything you do. Uh, you can't you can't really live on the past, but you have to learn from it. And so I think I definitely did that in this past year, year or two. So just that. Why'd you switch from number nineteen to number six? Uh, I get that question a lot. I I've been telling everybody that's just a like reincarnation of myself. I, from nineteen, I had nineteen from high school all the way up to here. But then I feel like I just needed something new. And you know, as everybody been saying, like mature. I feel like I matured to something different. Like I'm, I feel like I'm blossoming to something different this year. So. I have a lot of expectations and goals. Yeah. That was Demetrius's number, right? Yeah. Do you think he was a good leader, a good example for you? Uh, for sure. He he definitely paved the way for me, definitely. But is, is there another story behind number six, or was it just, hey, number six looks good on me? Oh, uh, no. Nah, actually, because Coach Cecil, he went to my high school. So uh, after I, D. Flan was gone, I was just thinking, like, spring ball, I want, I want something new. So I, I asked Coach Cecil, actually. I text Coach Cecil, like, hey, can I get six? And he was like, for sure. Like, he went and asked uh, Barry, and then they got a switch from him for spring ball. Nice. Um, is there a young player that you've kind of taken under your wing? Uh, yes, Chris Rowland. Uh, 
and Bobby Wolf. Those two, they, those two guys, obviously, Bob, Chris been here since January, so he's been around a lot. He's been at my house a lot. We spent a lot of time together off the field. That's my biggest thing. I just want to be a great, be a great brother to my teammates. Not just, everything's not about just on the field. You have to build these relationships off the field. So yeah. What advice would you give freshmen right now? Uh, right now, I would say just stay focused. Don't let outside noise distract you. Don't let outside noise bother you. Just stay focused on your school and football. What are some of the questions that Chris or Bobby will ask you?